Well, good Monday evening, Arkansas. This is Chief Forecaster coming back here once again. I'm here to give you guys your evening forecast video for tonight before your seven-day forecast comes out this evening here. So, across the natural state, not bad right now. We've got temperatures in the upper 70s, low 80s. It was a very beautiful weekend across our area with temperatures struggling to get out of 50s on Saturday in North Arkansas to 60s across the state. You warmed up a little bit yesterday into the 70s here. And the warm-up trend is going to continue over the next few days here before we get yet another strong front coming in but we're not really expecting a ton of excessive heat coming back it's not going to be how it was like two weeks ago when we were in the 90s to near 100 but temperatures are going to rebound just a little bit before that front about your gets here so i'm going to take your direction over to the gulf of mexico here speaking of that cold front we're going to keep an eye on a couple of things here. so this is in the Bay of Campeche. We do have Invest 93L down here right now. This poses no threat to Arkansas, but this is going to have indirect effects to what's going to be happening as we get towards this upcoming late week into this upcoming weekend here. So about a, I would say as it stands about a 20 or maybe a 30 percent, 20 to 30 percent chance of development down here in the Bay of Campeche. You can see yeah it's, it's getting its act together you can see a lot of wind shear on its north side here and that's just typical with this time of the year you get all that wind shear from the um, eastern pacific goes over the gulf of mexico and you can see the clouds moving from west to east so that's a good amount of wind shear on its north side so not really expecting this to become like a major hurricane or a catastrophic event or anything like that but what this is going to do is it's going to take the moisture that would normally surge up in front of a strong cold front and it's going to shunt it away from Arkansas. And it's going to leave what's called a pocket of substance on its backside, which prevents any kind of rainfall chances or anything like that. So you, you can see it on the, um, the rainfall tools map. I'll show you in just a little bit how the place has like two to four inches of rainfall along the Gulf of Mexico, two to four inches of rainfall, and Arkansas is just kind of in this void because of the substance that's going to be in place, which is a, another word for dry air. It's going to keep the rainfall chances from getting too excessive as we get towards that Thursday and Friday time from here. But if you have any interest along the Gulf Coast, Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, to the Florida coastline, Keep in mind, we'll have to watch this system as we get towards later this week and into the weekend. Like I said before, not expecting a ton of tropical development here because it will merge with a funnel boundary that's kind of in place right now, which you can see as clear as day in the northern Gulf of Mexico. But it will bring some excessive heavy rainfall to those areas if you have any plans for the Gulf Coast this weekend um, as well. So. Let's go ahead and talk to you guys about our evening outlook here, our evening highlights. And we've got a couple things to talk about. As I mentioned before, strong cold front is going to come through as we get towards late Thursday and Friday. Unfortunately, I don't think you're going to see a whole lot of rainfall chances with it. I mean, you may get lucky in North Arkansas. I just don't see it being a, um, a beneficial rainfall maker like it was with the last system we just got to dealing with. And below normal temperatures are going to remain over the next two weeks here. So with no rainfall chances or very little rainfall chances in place for the next, I'd say the next week or so, you may see some burn bands begin to come and come back, especially areas that did not see a lot of rainfall with the last rainfall event here. So Logan, Perry, Woodruff, and Lee counties still remains in the burn band. I can see a few counties over in eastern Arkansas, especially if we don't get any significant rainfall that may get put back into burn bands. Also, keep in mind on Friday, you're going to have wind gusts upwards to 25 miles per hour or greater and very low humidity here so if you're in a burn band don't burn i know the urge is going to be there for some bonfires but don't do it because you got to heat those burn bands guys all right speaking of the burn bands this is the wildfire risk still makes in a place across central eastern and southern and southeastern arkansas this does not mean you shouldn't burn it just means that you just have to be very cautious like don't let a bonfire go unintended stuff like that just kind of keep an eye on things if you're in a burn band don't burn if you're not just kind of be cautious and be like okay it's a little dry out here don't let it go unintended and then you'll be good all right so let's talk about tonight we've got temperatures in the upper 40s low 50s here with that dry air still remaining in place uh, some temperatures up there in the high elevations may actually sneak into the low 40s as we get towards this upcoming uh, so we get towards tonight into tomorrow morning here down in southern arkansas you'll be in the upper 50s may sneak a 60 degree reading probably in lake village or in the texarkana region we'll just have to keep an eye on that but nothing too significant for tonight here okay so let's talk about what to expect coming up here and i mentioned this before that we were going to have that strong cold front that's going to come through as we get towards thursday and friday 
that cold front, like I said, unfortunately, it's just not going to have a ton of moisture here in Arkansas to get decent rainfall chances here. And that's really bad because we, we still need the rainfall. Even places that saw that two to four inches rainfall across western Arkansas, that rainfall never made it east of Little Rock. So those areas still need the rainfall at this point. So you can see this is about Friday morning. There's your cold front's clear as day from western Missouri, northwest Arkansas, eastern Oklahoma, down into northeast Texas. There's your cooler, well, I, I take that back, colder temperatures coming in as we get towards your um, your Friday morning time frame here. And we're going to take this out all the way through. This is Friday afternoon. If you were to go with the GFS, I don't buy none of these, but we'll see. Behind the front of Belgium, 60s and 70s, 50s back up towards the northwest. Let's take this out all the way to Saturday morning, a very chilly Saturday morning across the area. Temperatures in the 40s, low 50s. Remember, we've got that solar eclipse coming in. It's going to start right around that 10 o'clock in the morning time frame on Saturday. It should end right around 1.30. Um, so let's take this out all the way through. This is about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Temperatures are going to be beautiful on Saturday. Upper 50s, low 60s. Overnight lows in the 40s. We're going to have a repeat of what we just got through dealing with um, this past weekend here. So if you're planning on doing anything in terms of the eclipse or you're having any outdoor plans, stuff like that, you're going to be absolutely perfect across the state here. So let's take this out all the way. Let's see Sunday morning. If you go with the GFS model, we could be talking about some light frost up here once again across northern northwestern Arkansas. 40s elsewhere across the state here. So um, like I said before, beyond that, Quiet conditions still going to remain. Temperatures are going to be below normal, by the way, over the next two weeks or so. Um, I am keeping my eye on late month, early November for possibly a warm-up. Nice, it's not, not going to be in the 90s. It's just going to be a warm-up because the trough goes back out towards the west. Could see some action start getting going by then, but right now, at least until then, it does look pretty quiet across the state. So we'll continue to keep you guys updated right here in your source for all things Arkansas weather.